Hey guys and gals, this is Nick of the Broken Legion of Gamers, and in this video I'm going to unbox the Marcher Worlds Command Group Starter Set for Warcaster Neo Mechanica. Here's the back of the box. In the starter set you get six models. The six models, basically the six models shown, the Ranger Fire Team, the Dusk Wolf, the Coalition Weaver, a Hunter, the Rulebook, uh, all the stack cards you need, cipher cards, dice, and somewhere it says tokens. Yeah, and you're going to get get a token sheet, including a pulse tracker. Now let's pull this out. This is what the inside of the box looks like. Here's the dice. I believe these are either the Mon po the Monster Apocalypse dice or the the dice for uh, Riot Quest. I'm not sure. All the miniatures are bagged up in these these nice little bags. We'll look at them later. And you have these right here. I don't know what those are. And then. Two more bases, and then we go. In. Here's the rule book. We're, we'll just give it a nice little flick through. Here's the fluffs, the game, the game description, the fluff, fluff section, and then uh, this is where they start with the. The factions, here's the three from the Kickstarter. You have the Marcher Worlds, the Arternus Continuum, and the Iron Star Alliance right there. Then here's two more factions, the Empyreans and the Keepers. Here's the components of what a starter set would include. I doubt that they changed this picture for for the rule books of the different starter sets, but yeah. Now and then they just take you through the rules. And in the on the back of the rule book it's got a nice description of the a nice layout of the turn sequence. Here's your token sheet with your pulse tracker and all the tokens you'll need in the game. Here's the here's the void gates you guys will get when it hits retail. You're not gonna get the metal void gates like the subscribe the like the people that back the Kickstarter did. Okay, these What's this right here? Okay. Oh, here's the... The product card for the Void Gates. And then... Oh, these are just the Kickstarter stretch goals. These are all the... Um, these are all the, the lore cards. And, oh, here's, here's the Kickstarter exclusive foil stack cards that backers are getting. We're not going to go through these. Basically, the only thing that looks like it's foil is the, um, the font up on the top, the rune font, which we are supposed to be getting that as a Kickstarter stretch goal. Okay, and these are nice, nice thick cards for the, for the uh, what's it called, for the stack cards. And um, here's the, the lore cards for the Dusk Wolf Ranger Fire Team. The Hunter.
the Dusk Wolf Weapons lore cards, and the Coalition Weaver lore card. And then here is the main pack of cards right here. As I try and op as I fail opening these, hold on. Okay. Sorry about that. I got got it open. And these are all the cipher cards. Okay, so all the stack stack cards right there. Those are the we're not getting. Here are all your stack cards. I'll show them off one at a time, and you guys can pause it and read. That's the interdiction protocol, the monumentum calibration or calibrator. The Kinetic Accelerator. The Annihilation Vector. The Impulse Inducer. The Ascension Catalyst. The Cryo Lock. Oh, and... Okay, now I see. What, I, what identifies each Cypher card is this text right here. These are overdrive cards. Now we're on to fury cards. Th this is the cryo lock. This is the velocity projector. This is the pyrokinetic surge. This is the null colander. This is the malediction rubric. This is the instability equation, whatever that is. Now we're on to geometric pulse card. Yeah, pulse cards. This is force barrier. This is temporal cycle. This is um, more more tell whatever that says, mortality, whatever. The Reiteration Complex, the Plexus Densifier, the Displacement Index, and now we're on to the Harmonic, um, the Harmonic Pulse Cards. This is the divination alg algorithm. This is the arcane, arcane synth synthesis. This is encrypted command. This is recall initiative. The aggression theorem. And the Revelation Matrix. Now we're going to get all the... Let's put all the cards, the rule book, and tokens set back in the box. And we'll move on to showing off the models. Uh, while my rubber bands broke already. The one for my unit fluff cards. My uh, lore cards. Okay, so here we've got the two twenty millimeter, two twenty millimeter bases. These are going to go back. Now we'll open up this this bag first and figure out what's in here. Now I'm liking the fact that they went with a little bit more. In, of environmentally safe packaging. 
Okay, and right here is the Hunter Solo. He sits on a 30 millimeter base. And here's the Solo himself. Or herself, yeah, herself. Here's the back of her. And here's her backpack. I'll try and show that off the best that I can. And here's the other side of her backpack. What I like about these backpacks, these models, you see on the back, back of the model, you see that nice hole on the back of the model? Well, in that nice hole, that's where the notch on the back of this backpack goes. And, okay. And it slots in real nice. And then the arm will slot in uh, to that hole and then yeah they've made the connecting points on these models f amazing okay I'll try and figure out how to oh right there and then that's how the gun goes on okay so there's your hunter the Hunter Solo, if you got the Marcher World. On to the next bag of metal miniatures. And this game most of the miniatures are metal so if you're if you're not comfortable with working on metal then this might not be the game for you but oh hold on but let me tell you judging by the weaver I already put together the metals these metal miniatures are really easy to put together Why is there a second hunter in here? Why is the alternate sculpt hunter in in here? That's supposed to be hold on a second. Okay, this is another the, another solo variant hunter that also came with two backpacks. So I might have okay. I'm gonna have to take inventory of my stuff. Now. What's in this bag? I don't know if I was supposed to get that, but okay. This is right here. This is the, the normal weaver, not the variant that I have already. There's there's the front of him, because this is the male weaver, the female weaver. Okay. So, 
Yeah, we're going to get out those stack cards. We're going to go through those stack cards and see what I have stack cards for. Here's the backpack for the Weaver. And here's the itty bitty Weaver head. If I can keep my hands on it. And then the staff and hand for the weaver. Okay. Let's see what's in this bag. Okay, these are the Void Gates, the stretch goals. They come on two 30 millimeter bases. And these are the, the upgraded Void Gates. They were a stretch goal that we un unlocked. You will not be getting this, these, or that variant solo hunter in the starter set. These are, I think that might have been a stretch goal that we got an extra so variant solo. I'm not sure. I, Definitely have to check that one out. But here's the void gates. These basically replace the cardboard gates. Um, they're not Kickstarter exclusives. You can you can get these for I think they're gonna be like eleven or twelve bucks. Okay. Now that bag's all destroyed, so we're gonna. Now, why did I get two extra 30 millimeter bases, too? Okay. I don't know what happened in the packing of my rewards, but... I don't know. And this right here should be the Ranger Fire Team. And yes, this is the Ranger Fire Team. This is your three man unit. Here's your unit. It comes with three 30, three 30 millimeter bases. You're gonna start to see a trend here. And here's the unit leader. Here's the back of the unit leader. Okay, and here's the unit leader's gun. I know this is definitely the unit leader's gun because the unit leader's gun has the backpack attached. And yeah, this is a big gun, and it, but it also has a big contact point, as you can see there. I don't have that on totally good, but yeah. And then here's the the unit leader's knife. So the unit leader's down. But then you have two more guys. Or girls. There's one. There's another. Here's one of their guns. Here's the other gun. Then you've got two heads. Head number one with some cool goggles on it. And head number two. And then you got two of these backpacks that may be interchangeable. I'm not sure. 
but that's your Ranger Fire team. Now we're gonna move on to the star of this box. And no, the star of the box isn't the Weaver or the Hunter or the extra Hunter solo variant that I got, which means I have two Hunter solo variants. And then now we're gonna move on to the Dust Pool. And the Dusk Wolf strides onto the table on a big 50 millimeter base. And here's the body of the Dusk Wolf. Here's the left leg of the Dusk Wolf. Here's the, that makes this, this the right leg and my hands for some reason are really dry. You'd think it was almost winter time with how dry my hands are. Or this is the left... Did they give me two legs? Two left legs? Yes, they did. I was sent two left legs. Two left legs exactly the same. And do I have a right leg? Hope I've got a right leg. Oh. At least I also have a right leg. So I've got a left leg and a right. Two left legs and a right leg. Right arms and left. A right arm and a left arm. Now remember. The right arm is going to be different because the right arm is the one that takes the pulse, takes either the pulse cannon, this thing right here, or the grenade launcher. I think, think these are grenade launchers. Yeah, this is the, the grenade launcher. Well, you've got this, then you've also got its arc reactor right here. That arc reactor right there. You've got the shoulder mounted, I think it's the pulse rifle. If I would have looked through the stack cards, I'd know the names of all these weapons. The grenade launcher, rocket launcher, I forget what its name is. I showed this one, right? The arm mounted, arm, the regular arm mounted gun. You've got the flamer right here. <clears throat> You've got the, the chain, arm mounted chainsaw for melee. And then you have the two cortexes, which these are gonna be fun to magnetize up. Cortex number one. And cortex number two. Okay. Now, right there, that is your Dust Wolf. That's your War Jack that comes with the Marcher Worlds. And we're going to take a quick look through the stack cards. 
we'll go through the wep weapon stack cards after this. Here's the Coalition Weaver. You guys, if you guys watched my unboxing video of of my other Coalition Weaver, the you've already seen all this. Another weapon. Here's your Dusk Wolf card. The Ranger Fire Team card. And two Hunter cards. So, yes, I was supposed to get a second Hunter. Okay, so that means I have a total of three Hunters. Which... Yeah, that means I never have to buy another hunter ever again. Okay, here's the flamethrower. The Talon rocket pod. So that's the shoulder mounted one. Flamethrower's arm mounted. The ripper which is the arm-mounted chainsaw. Here is the battle rifle that's arm-mounted. And then the railgun. Why did I think it was pulse rifle? I don't know. What are the sniper rifle, sniper? Battle rifle. Nothing has a pulse rif rifle. Okay, I don't know why I came up with pulse rifle, but yeah. Well, guys, that is everything in this starter set. And I've got an extra hunter to build. Yay, because I'm going to build, mostly build my starter set because I am fully planned. I am planning on magnetizing both of my war, war jacks, so I'll probably build up my war jack to have everything but the arms and heads on tomorrow, and then I'll uh, drill out and install the magnets on the, them. But that's it for this video. This video is dragged on for long enough, and... Uh, yeah, it looks like I've got some extra pieces and or an extra model and extra bases. Are these backpacks different that I can choose? No, they're the same backpack. Okay, so that's it for this this unboxing, guys. I hope you liked, liked what you saw. And that was a nice little surprise, that, ex that extra hunter in here. That was a really big surprise. Thank you, Privateer Press. I really do appreciate that. I don't know if that was supposed to be thrown in or if that was just a mistake, but maybe I'll reach out to you guys and find out if that was a mistake or not. But that's it for this video. If you like what you saw, hit, and I don't know why you would because my videos are never that good, but if you liked what you saw, hit hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me and really helps the channel. It helps circulate the video more. Um, if you have any questions about the starter set, um, throw, throw the questions in the comments section. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more uh, Warcaster New Mechanica content, I've got uh, plenty more unboxings coming. I'm going to also do do basically mod reviews of the models individually and go over their stack cards and tell you how I'd plan on using using these models. Um, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you can be notified anytime I put up any future content. And as always, whenever possible, support local wargaming here at the channel. We support Toy Wiz and Nanuet New York, right across the street from on uh, Route 59, right across the street from the Dunkin' Donuts. Have a nice night, guys. See you tomorrow.